most of these are pretty simple things that I try to do. Um, obviously, if you're somebody that likes to drop step and shoot and blast doubles and stuff a lot, uh, that's fine. Those things are going to work great for you always. If you don't have that stuff in your game, you're not really able to grow into like a high level wrestler like that. You're older, stuff like that. Maybe you don't want to ruin your knees or or whatever it is. Trying to trying to learn that at this point. Just simple like things that I can do in a jujitsu set to get advantage over people and it works a lot in MMA in a lot of these ways too. Uh, can I get you Wesley? So we can drill it a little bit first even, um, but thinking about his stance, okay? For me, I wanna be able to get to a place where I can be like mirroring his stance, okay? I'm not really, like I said, I'm not really shooting up the middle, blast doubling, going down the middle there. So a lot of times I'll just figure out a way to kind of get my front leg to be mimic to where he is, is, even just by moving myself or somehow hand fighting with him. And so the first thing I want us to do is just like, he'll try to hold this like T pose for a second there. And I want you guys just to practice this. It's like getting to where you are and trying to step as close to his foot as you can. That way when I bring my knee in and under, I can get close to him and be like hit the hip with him right there and come back, right? And that's one of the main things that I like to think about when I'm doing my steps is I want to have outside step, okay? Head inside or head outside, that's going to give us a couple different plays on what we want to do with it. But first of all, I just want to try to get to where I can like be looking at him though and find that distance to be head in and not have to duck because that's guillotines and all that. So I want to be here to where I can just like lower my level and come like into the sky. And see how I like hit the hip right here. If he wants to, can you wrap my head right there? See how he has to then to try to wrap my head and stuff? I'm pretty much already behind at this point, okay? So just take a couple minutes with each other there, and let's just try to figure out that distance on maybe each side a little bit, just with that T-pose, where now I'm just gonna stand like this, and for Wesley, whichever foot I have forward, you gotta mimic it, or whichever way, you can do the other one, it does too. If my foot is here, there's that little gap for yours, right? So if I come down and up, you feel how that's not really, the same at all versus coming almost like foot to foot and then now my knee yeah as long as it's a big years and i'm already like on me okay so take some time and really you may need to look at it even for a second or whatever it is but figure out how to get that foot right almost i would step on it okay in real time okay one two one two is when i come with my head down at all right here it's easy he's catching that guillotine almost even if i do blast and they're gonna hold that all the way to the ground, right? So it's almost like a form tackle in football. I wanna have my mask, my face mask up, right? And I'm hitting them basically right here. For, and I'll be going for my singles on my head inside. And if my head goes outside, that's my double now going across. Very hard to wrap the arm around. Yeah, I'm trying not, anytime that, that the back of my head is exposed, that's when he can wrap it but I want to get there as always if I can, okay? And so we're just using this step and then we're going to go into some posture stuff right after that. I want to find out what his stance is and I just want to mirror it, right? Just put mine forward. If he switched, I would kind of figure out a way to switch out of this other space. Another, uh, right. And then another thing I think about is I want to keep my front hand usually down a little bit lower. Uh, for some people, you know, maybe it's more of like a Greco, kind of style in that way. It's like I'm doing a lot more upper body stuff, but I will go down for my singles and my doubles, right? I'm not more of a down up, I'm more of a up down kind of guy to where like I'm gonna fall into you kind of, sort of, and you gotta hold on to me now. You gotta hold us both up. And sometimes guys will throw me, but guess what? We're now on the ground and I got a body lock, I got an underhook, I got a, something to hold on to and start playing with, rather than this guy who just blasts me and like punks me out while I'm sitting on the ground. like. <laughs> All scared and shit, okay? Um, and so then, no, you can have your hands down now. And so this is the thing. Another like thing for people that are here is, is, a, is a good hand fight guy, right? And so I'm trying to sneak into these things. And, and one of the big things I heard uh, from a seminar with Marcelo Garcia is like, I'm not necessarily thinking about any of the grabs per se. I just want to have my hands on top of his hands. It can be this way. It can be this way any of the ways that he wants to do it. If I start with my hands on top, he's got to initiate something else from here, right? Exactly. And then I got partial to the way that PJ showed us last year turning your hand over the other way, right? So I used to do this all the time. This is all you would really ever see me starting to do. But now I'll, I'll lead with that one and this outside step, okay? And then I'm punching my underhook 
And then a lot of times they try to step back right here, and that's when I roll that forward, and I'm right over the top of the head, right? And I'm putting my, my armpit on the nape of their neck, and I'm holding my underhook like down here, okay? In this situation, a lot of times, they see that front leg, and they, exactly, they wanna reach for it, and that's when I pull it back, holding onto his chin, and snap. Okay, and I wouldn't have landed so softly with him right there, I would have put all the weight and I'm holding his chin, pulling it away from his body as I'm coming down at that same time, okay? So a lot of times, like I was saying, whichever step it is, this is great. Whichever step it is for me, once I'm in and he steps and I pull, that becomes bait a lot of times. And even for good wrestlers even. And I'm hitting them hard with this, this sprawl and I'm pulling my underhook to me, elbow down, and his chin towards my hips as I step back hard. <laughs> Okay, and then usually that's when I go for like 10 finger guillotines and different things like that first to just kind of check them out. Okay, so let's come in. We're checking them. If you like this one better, you can. It just, it does feel harder yeah. on a good guy to get that versus being here and just shaving them. And then he steps, cool. Great. I'm rolling out for my underhook, okay? And instead of getting like my deep one that I like with my shoulder in, he caught me a little shallow. And so yeah, instead of even stepping back hard, he's trying to wizard down on me really quick. And so as I become aware that I'm in trouble, and I realize that because I have my short underhook, right? And that's when, I, if it's deep, I don't have to worry about that. But as soon as I feel he's got the elbow, I'm now coming down with my level change. And I'm on my single. Hands just locked together, and I push into him with my ear once, twice, and then I set him down backwards. So I went like that. Like my head stayed up the whole time. I stepped and brought him down over to there. Okay. I'm thinking about putting him, essentially he's in a chair right here. I'm not pinching, because that's how you're gonna get kind of basami and different things like that. So I'm leaving it open and I'm stepping and then I'm gonna squat and step back with a C-step. And I pull him down with me right there. And now I'm in like my passing or whatever kind of positions though for that. <laughs> so, any way he gets it, a shorter underhook, and especially he's wizarding. I feel that already. Americanas and stuff, big guys, they'll lift you up. I'm like, it's, it's silly. So I just feel it. I let go. He can try to wizard still, right? The better their wizard is, almost the better this works now. Yeah. All my weights on this. Leg. Yeah, and I'm gonna step across with the front leg and back. And see him right here. That's when I would come more around to that other side with it. Okay. So let's just play with that one a little bit. You're gonna get in tight the same way. Boom, stepping across in front, stepping back and bringing them down. Never fall. I don't wanna fall. I don't wanna fall. If I fall, I'm off balance. If I fall, I can't predict where I'm going sometimes. You don't know what guard you're this is a, That's right, this is a predictable pattern for me. And if he starts to invert, I'm fighting his feet. If he squares up, I'm doing half guard. And if he does beat me for that underhook, either, he's gonna shoot. Now I'm just going down with my overhook myself. Yeah. And I'm playing my guard, yeah. trying to set up whatever requirement. I like half guards, whatever, and stuff like that from there with my overhook. So, again, I'm doing this just to get this guy close to me and get attached to me so we can have some connection rather than being out in space where this guy can just, like, come in, lunge into me, blast me all over the place. All right? So now we have that single. And, that, and, that, and you guys should still be working on that a lot, right? But my head's inside. I'm coming down. He's wizard or whatever he could, right? And as I start to do this step, and I start to go out, somehow he like scoots my head out to the other side. From there, I'm gonna switch this hand to just the back side of his knee. The other one is gonna switch to his knee. And you see how I'm bent? I'm gonna take my step just to get my hips under me. Right there. And then I'm flaring his legs as I walk across. And then I would land with this guy. Chest up, chest up. Okay? But that, that C step gets that momentum going. And if I miss, I'm way out here now. Just start going with it. So all that momentum that I had off of really trying that, that single, I'm really trying for my single. It's not a setup, right? I don't let him get away from my single. I don't like to do this on purpose. I want to hit my single. But if I miss it because of this mistake that is very common, I'm immediately just flaring the legs and walking them over with that same moment, okay? Because from here, 
this grid stays, right? And then when my head came out, I was lifting already that way. So that hand stayed, that goes, hips in, feet overhead. Okay, we got our, uh, our C-step and our double leg off of that, okay? And then my other one play right here is a guy who just like in this moment, he starts to wizard, right? And then he takes this frame right here on the other arm and he starts to cross pose on you before he steps his leg back. And so in that moment, what I need to do is try to push this up and be on my body line. And then I'm again, I'm hipping internally. If he's not that light, I'm still hipping in and I'm trying to circle with that while he's trying to get his hands fixed or whatever. And I'll walk you down and just like break your back or whatever kind of in that, in that body line position, okay? So we're in, we've done all these different things, right? Boom, boom, he's grabbing his wizard and he's cross posing. If I keep driving into him, he's getting away. So I've got to push this up and then I lock and then I walk you down basically if you don't turn and just land in that one. Just turn that into that straight, that body lock off of that. And you, again, my hips are in. And dude, I'm thinking like, Okay, this is another thing I did in the match. Somebody thought I was just fucking with the guy. They grabbed double collar ties, like Muay Thai. I hit him with my chest. This is Muay Thai, hit to hit. Now, if he tries to let go, I'm, I feel it. I'm not using my hands at all. He's like, I thought you were just fucking with it. I was like, no, I was waiting for his elbows to pop so I can grab. I'm under you now. You lift yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, like playing collar ties and stuff is one thing. If I'm gonna do that, I'm doing it with my back hand. Mm -hmm. I'm not reaching over my front hand to give him an opportunity, right? So hands, trying to turn that out just a little bit, hit the hip with my underhook right there. If he steps back, I step and pull, chin strap, snapping him down to the front hip line. Okay, so do that one. Bam, he's gonna to start to wizard me down hard. I'm coming in for my single. So you step across, head up. Bring down, staying up on my feet right there. Okay, we did that one. Bam, got in. Going for my single with my C step. He's gonna skirt his hips out. I'm lifting. See how you got that foot in? I'm just gonna walk through it and follow him down right there. It does block you, but just go fall with it. Take his leg with him and go. And then the other, I think right here, bam, he's gonna get really heavy and then he's trying to cross frame on me. I'm popping up. I'm into my body lock, walking them down. So can I drop my head lower into their belly and then slide it up? Because I, you know, obviously I was having trouble you with can. the level change. The biggest thing is like if I'm in here, I don't want to let him get his arm over my head. Yeah. 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 If I go down now, I gotta be even hitting to my knee almost. Okay. That way if he goes for the guillotine, he's coming over the top somehow. I just go to my back on this. Okay. It's a combination of a bunch of shit. You know, learn from, from lots of people. Uh, I think that's what most of us are. Yeah. I didn't invent anything. I didn't make up anything. I may have found something one time. Somebody else has done a bunch of times. But uh, what you like is like your body type a lot of times. You know, tall, short, muscular, thin, your personality. Like if you're an anxious person or like really aggressive kind of person or a passive person or like a happy-go-lucky kind of person, that'll dictate your style. A lot of times your coach obviously will have a big influence on that as well. Uh, but hey, as an individual with everything in your life, it's on you to determine what parts of what fit you and who you are and what's gonna make you happy, what's gonna make your day, your life better, the people around you better, uh, are your self-defense, MMA, jujitsu with the homies for fun because we love each other and stuff. That could all exist together at the same time too, right? It doesn't have to be just one thing for you. It's everything for me. This is like my friends, my family. Uh, I don't really have people in my life that don't do this in some way, shape or form. At this point, all my friends are training partners of some sort over the years or something like that. Uh, like, that's my business. It's all, you know, it's like I wake up, that's the first thing I do at home. Usually the last thing I'm doing is taking notes on the night or, or making notes for the next day, you know. It helps me organize my life. Prior to that, like I mentioned, like, you know, for me, the ADHD thing, 
I was just out there. Just wild, quitting jobs every time it got boring. <laughs> like, just getting tired of shit and burning out. Uh, but <laughs> MMA and Jiu-Jitsu helped me figure out, like, problem solving and being patient and different things like that. And organization of my my ideas and, you know, having to slow down sometimes just because you have to. Like, you know, we want to go, go, go. That's like maybe just an American thing even almost too, but like sometimes you can. Sometimes you got to chill and slow down and, and take it easy, you know. And uh, man, a lot of that took years to understand. So if you're brand new, man, just, just enjoy it. Make it as fun as you can, but don't skip the hard stuff. Do the stuff you're not good at. Right, try to try to pick up on, on techniques like that uh, and then and know where your limits are and then add things around that like I'm not I'm not blast doubling the guy I, I don't think it's a smart thing to pull guard on people all the time either but if I know this dude is gonna launch me and just send me through it I'm just gonna get down because if he picks me up from there then fuck it like we're, we're going you know what I'm saying and not many people can do that though uh, or want to and, and that's where the game starts to lie uh, so I appreciate y'all coming out today. We can get some rolls in or whatever if anybody wants to or if everybody's a little 